Hi there, let's try to have yet another exciting video on using the Blackboard platform. Today I'm gonna talk about the online virtual meeting tool which is available in the Blackboard platform. And if you'll see it on the left side, the name is Collaborate. It is the tool given by Blackboard for conducting online meetings. Have a look here if in case I'm just gonna click on collaborate it opens up a screen which asks me to create sessions in the beginning when I'll create up a session I can give it a name let's say lecture number nine for example and then inside in here you will have several options so let me discuss step by step in this case towards the setting side anyone who will be attending the session will be a participant and of course if in case you wanna allow the recording you can allow it maybe you can anonymous chat messages someone can send you without showing their names uh, but don't go for that and then there will be profile pictures for moderators if you want to show them that's fine and the participants will have the permission to share their audios videos post messages or maybe write on the whiteboards precisely so you can try to avoid anyone if in case you want to but I recommend that it would be easier because students anytime can ask you any queries uh, maybe they want to share back their screens or maybe write something on your whiteboards so you have to allow that as such then allow attendees to join the session using a telephone probably they all might not be having a telephone number for that and maybe the call have a large uh, difficulty to connect or maybe any issues can happen so in case you want to remove it it's fine but if you will leave it default that's also okay now participants can chat privately only with moderators because usually it happens the students start chatting with themselves so I believe that open this option a check is required so that the students won't waste their time talking to each other and they won't pay attention to the session and then you can supervise all the private chats also that's mu that's also much better if in case the number of participants you are going to have is more than 250 you can click it on just in case if they are not you can leave it empty and there is no requirement as such for any profanity filters and of course you can use amazon w the aws chimes for audios and videos but we'll leave it for the time being because we don't have the subscriptions for AWS Charms, Chime most probably. So let's leave it by default. And let me try to move back to the event details. Now you will try to give the guest access, particularly someone without enrolled in the course will be able to attend uh, with the help of the link. Uh, but I don't recommend you to do that because it would be a tough time to manage the link and of course outsiders may try to get into your course so it is better to stick with those who are enrolled in the course so you can define a date uh, let's say I have 13th and uh, probably 7 p.m. so make it a zero and then yeah this one is like of course on 13th itself and it's gonna finish up at uh, let's say 10 All right, so okay so now I think this is fine so you can make an open session which keeps on running even after the meeting time is over uh, but I won't recommend that just try to be sticking to your timelines and you can repeat the session also every week maybe you can try to generalize the same meeting but this one is specifically for lecture 9 so I'm not gonna make it a repetitive session but you can repeat the sessions for your whole semester you can try to make one time the session and every time the session is available automatically and of course early entries 15 minutes before you can allow the students to log in and wait for you or maybe if you want no early entries that would be really fine so I'm gonna leave it as the default and I'm gonna remove the repeat sessions so as soon as I'm gonna click 
create you're gonna give me a detail about the calls maybe in case if I wanna make any anonymous dial calls or stuff like that but I'm just gonna leave it empty and your session information is saved so let me close this out and now if you will see I have a lecture which is supposed to be from 13 3 at 7 that's the upcoming week from 7 till 10 so if in case you click on that you can update the information here as well so this is how you try to create the sessions in the blackboard framework you can try to edit the settings and you can view the reports like who attended your session how many participants were there for how much time they were there and it is going to be really easy for you to track the information about the students and their attendances as well so at the day or the time when it is supposed to execute the session is going to pop up and begin directly from there it makes your life really comfortable and you would be able to manage all your sessions directly from this same screen and that's gonna be really cool so I hope now you are able to prepare your own sessions for the students and that would be really helpful thank you so much for listening till then we meet in the next video this is Nair signing off have a nice time